Brecht. Most students know the stressful process of taking out loans and repaying them. 119 in Euclid hosted a financial literacy event as part of their Health and Wellness Week. Our own Rochelle Legrand went to the event and gives us an inside look. Good morning, Ari. Yes, last night I had the opportunity to attend the event, The Challenge of Debt for Black Students and How to Manage It. The event was a partnership amongst 119 Euclid, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, and the Office of Financial Aid. I was able to take part in the presentation that not only taught students how to manage their finances, but highlighted the disparities that black students specifically face. Let's take a look. Students gathered yesterday at 119 Euclid for the event, The Challenge of Debt for Black Students and How to Manage It. The event was part of Syracuse University's Black History Month Health and Wellness Expo. The Office of Financial Aid tends to be extremely intimidating and not necessarily a welcoming space to first generation students, let alone students of color or black students. And my resolution when I took over this specific position for the Office of Financial Literacy was to go out and meet students where they are then. The event was hosted by Karina Anderson McNary, who acknowledged the ways college debt puts black students at a higher disadvantage than their counterparts. Debt to income ratio is not going to be in the place that it needs to be for five, sometimes 10 years into their career. They're not um, buying high cost cars. They're not starting businesses or taking financial risks because they already have so many financial obligations that they need to meet that it's unfathomable to think about taking on further risk and putting any lifestyle that they've curated in jeopardy. Um, and then that multiplies, again, when you're talking about students of color who don't have generational wealth. And when you're talking about first generation students specifically, they don't have anything to fall back on. They have only themselves. When asked how her program will resonate with students, Karina spoke about how she wants to remold the way financial literacy is taught in higher education. So much of financial literacy education was built around, again, that one size fits all sort of barrier, which is you're supposed to take this linear information that may not have been built around your lived experiences to start with and then somehow apply it to your life and we give you no tools to do that. And instead, I want to open up the conversation to say how do we build those together. For more events that are being highlighted this week for the final week of Black History Month, you can visit the Syracuse University calendar online. For Mornings on the Hill, I'm Rochelle Legrand. Coming up here on Mornings on the Hill.